Hey everybody! I had so much fun last week making stuff, carving that lamp with resin that I think I'm gonna do some more, but today I'm gonna make a pendant. So I have a bunch of these little, tiny little slabs that are from a, a big branch of aromatic cedar, and I saved a bunch of the, the little sections and it is very very dense wood so it's really good for pendants and even wood rings and stuff so I think I'm going to trim this up a little bit so that it's all nice and level and then I'm going to carve something up top here and then we'll embed it in resin and make something cool see I've got my little stuffs carved in on there and I think it's gonna be pretty cool so, so now comes some scorching and some painting so I'm going to oh come on lightly burn this just lightly alrighty and now I'm gonna grab some paint alrighty so got my little very fine brush right here I'm just gonna take some white and give these little mountains some snow caps <laughs> with tree line and waterfall. Alrighty, so I've got it in this little form. That way I know I have enough resin up here. And I actually glued it down so that it wouldn't float up on me. So I'm gonna make some stuff up and pour and... Yeah. So here it is. Next day it's nice and cured up. So I'm going to trim it down so that it's back down to the wood and then I've got to cut out the shape that I want. But yeah, I'll do that really quick and I'll be right back. So I've got it sanded back down to the wood, but as you can see the shape is not symmetrical at all. So I went ahead and drew on my final shape. I'm going to do some actual carving inside of it as well, but that'll be what we're looking to wind up with. So I'm going to trim this down to shape and yeah, we'll go from there. Now 
it's actually symmetrical and a closer shape to what I want. So I'm going to draw on my design and yeah, I'll be right back. Alright, so I've got these little overlapping points, or one on each side. I'm going to dish this out and it'll look like they're overlapping each other. I'll do some work down along the edge as well. I've only marked half because I want to make sure that my my you know the other branch the other end of it are going to be perfectly symmetrical so I'm actually going to come in and work this down to the line on both sides first and then I know where to thin it out and where the other arm is going to go so I will do that right now There we go. Now there's a better example of what I was talking about. You can see the points will meet at the tip and then I'm gonna kinda refine that shape a little bit so they look like two individual yeah, pieces overlapping. But now you can also see what I meant by not wanting to go too far on that loop because I didn't want to get into the other side of the branch so I think we're good now to level that down without worrying so I will do that and I guess we'll start refining shape and stuff So, shaping down here is done for the most part. I just have to see there's, it's still connected ever so slightly, but this is going to get a little flat, fragile if it can flex. So I'm going to do that absolutely last just to prevent breaking it. It shouldn't, but still, I'm paranoid. So now I just got to carve my little eyelet up here, finish that down there, and then it's ready for a brush coat sanded the wood to 320 and sanded the resin up to 800 wet sanded the resin by the way and yeah i think it's looking pretty cool like that little mountain range looks awesome turned out great i think well i can't say turned out it's not done So I've got my design for the eyelet right there, and it should be pretty cool, I'm thinking. So I'm going to go ahead and drill that really quick, and start carving away. There is an eyelet that I'm happy with. 
kind of tapers over a little bit. And I sanded, wet sanded all of the resin up to 1500 and that's just gonna let it take that glaze coat a lot better. So now all that's left to do is separate these two completely now that I'm not gonna be handling it a bunch and after that we can put our top coat on and it's done. Alrighty, it is ready to go. So I'm going to grab a brush and mix up a little resin and yeah, we are just about done with this. Well, there it is. I'd say it came out looking great. Alrighty, well I think that's going to do it for this one. I had a lot of fun making this and I've got a pretty cool video in the works at the moment. So, yeah, hope you all enjoyed. I'll have another one out same time next week and I'll have links to my social media stuff in the description.